game approaches, can you kind of talk about your team's mindset, you know, coming off the Fordham game and getting prepared for, uh, you know, this, this special event every year? Well, we certainly uh, had our ups and downs of, on the season, sitting here at five and five and, you know, still working toward a winning season. And uh, it is always important uh, to get a win over your arch rival. Uh, the most enjoyable thing about this football team for me as the head coach is that how resilient they've been uh, no matter what has happened. And obviously, uh, both on and off the field, we overcome it all and uh, we get back to work and, uh, you know, we're on to the next task. So uh, I know it's always a lot of excitement, uh, you know, surrounding this week. Uh, my biggest job probably is to keep everybody at an even keel uh, and don't get overly excited. You got to prepare just the way you prepared all year. Um, starting with today's practice through Wednesday, Thursday, um, Friday's walkthrough and, you know, some events uh, Friday evening and, and certainly all that excitement will culminate, uh, you know, come kickoff on Saturday. Uh, you know, I mean, he was a wildcat quarterback for so many, you know, for the first couple of years that he's there. Uh, and now this year, uh, he seems to be, do they like to go down the field more than they do, you know, dinking around and stuff? Are they more of a, of a uh, Well, they're still, you know, do a lot of the screen game and those things, obviously trying to get the ball to, you know, Spadola, you know, no question, one of the top receivers in the country. Uh, you know, he's been very impressive. You know, this is his first year as a starter and coming off having to, you know, live up to everything that occurred the previous two years. You got to give the young man a lot of credit. And, uh, you know, he's a strong runner. He commands that offense. Uh, he's demonstrated that he's, he's, he's a very good leader and the, that team, uh, you know, rallies around him. And uh, he's had an outstanding year. They've only given up six sacks, so getting at him has to be a bit of a, a challenge. Well, he does a great job in, in, in getting rid of the football, and that's also a big part of pass protection, you know, not holding on to it and, and timing and those things. And, and again, you know, they're running a lot of the rocket screens, those things, and, you know, he's, he's getting rid of the ball before, obviously, people got a chance to get to him. And, and obviously, their O-line, uh, like ours, has had some challenges with injuries and so on. But, uh, you know, they've they, they played solid football, and, you know, that's why they're sitting there as a 9-1 and one football team. They do a great job with their offense, uh, spreading the ball around in, in different situations. And uh, Spadola being out, I believe, for what was it, two games, um, and 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 maybe not coming back, uh, you know, off of uh, off of monogliosis right away. So it's given him, you know, opportunities. And uh, uh, they've had some young people, you know, step up for them and, and make plays. And it's the same thing. It becomes a, you know, the next guy called upon. And I think they've, you know, found something there that works. And uh, I think uh, Colvin, again, as, as he stated in the newspaper a few weeks back, he has as much confidence in throwing of all the all the receivers as he does uh, Spadola. And while people focus on stopping Spadola, that opens him up as well. And I think that's had a lot to do with it. We want to keep playing aggressive and with emotion and all those things. And uh, you know, um, you gotta you can't be too over focused, obviously. And then you just you don't play loose, and you, you got to be able to. You go out and play football, and you know my job is to make sure that we're not playing tight, and we're not playing afraid to lose. We're going to play to win. Coach, you watched a lot of Lehigh film probably uh, in the last uh, couple of days, um, weeks. How does it? How does a team uh, go minus eight in turnover margins and go nine and one? Well, you know, that's a, that's a great point because normally I'd say when you're in that kind of situation, uh, you know, that results in, in the record reflecting otherwise. But, uh, you know, just a credit to their resiliency and their belief in themselves to, you know, keep playing to the end. And they've been in a lot of close ball games, and I think that, that makes you better. And they've been fortunate enough to come out above that fine line, as I always refer to it, between winning and losing. And we've been in a lot of those close ball games too. And unfortunately, you know, we fell – you know, below it, but, um, um, you know, it, it is what it is. I know when we win the turnover game, we win. When we lose it, we lose. And it's pretty simple for us. You know, other than that, I mean, yes, we've got some continued uh, bumps and bruises that we have, but uh, everybody finds a way this week to kind of put that to the side and, and, and give it that, you know, all they got for this uh, this one last game.